All right, guys. So, Ken, what are we doing today? Finally, slamming the bug. Slamming the bug. We cannot touch the front, though, because rear suspension on the bug. Oh, kick those bins over. Rear suspension, that's a torsion, torsion arm suspension. Up in the front, we got McPherson struts. I have springs, lowering springs for those, but I don't even have a spring compressor. So, just the back side of the bug today. Stores are closed. Stores are closed, coronavirus. Right now we're getting the uh, it's the top of the shock. Down below, right there is the bottom. We're just popping out the shock, so uh, let's get it. Nope, that's not the way up. Guys, so it's another day. Um, we left off last time. I had popped out our nice shock here. You know, it's not that bad condition to be honest. Like it's still, oh shit, wow. Okay, maybe. Well, it's still, you know, shocks and so on, you know. I have this adjustable shock here that I might be putting in. But, uh, you know what? I, I kind of see why I'm a dumbass why I bought this. Because you hit a bump, this takes the shock, and your spring brings it back up. So, like, let's say you hit a bump. This goes down, absorbs the bump, and your spring pulls it back out. This shock, if you see, I'm putting... All my body weight on it, and I can't even give it to flex. And it's on the like the highest setting. So I may have messed up there, but we might still go with those. Who knows? All right. So as you guys can see, swing arm down there, almost out of the way. Top part, don't remember what it's called. Almost up and out of the way. One thing, kind of looks kind of sick with the wheel tucked all the way up in the fender. Now I kind of want to go lower than I expected. Anyways, I'm going to now get under the car, pop out our uh, CV axle right here, which is going to be a pain in the neck. And then I'll be able to drop the uh, spring plate over there, axle tube, and get the spring plate out so I can start to adjust the suspension. So uh, while I was gone, guys, these are all the tools I've been pulling out. I cannot for the life of me break free these itty bitty Allen key, Allen head bolts. Uh, I have to remove the axle to actually get this, the, um, I call this the swing arm lower than the spring plate over here. So, um, as you can probably see, there's a line right here. I'm going to do the wrong thing and I'm just going to fucking cut this bitch right there. That way, I can just pop the fucking spring plate out. Never worry about having to do this again. If I want to adjust the height, it's going to be easy. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't do this. I, I agree with everybody, but um, I'm fucking lazy, and I'm not taking out that axle. Jesus Christ. I will cut that thing in half. I have to pull it out. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get at it now. So as you guys can see, I've started the notch. Yeah, that little cut here is a little ugly, but still within the line, I'm happy. So we're going to cut it through. Holy crap, is this steel ever... Like, it's thin, but it must be hardened hardened because, uh, holy crap. It's just eating the crap out of my fucking bit. Like, I have only used this once, and it's just worn down now. Hey guys, so I just got finished cutting. I also grinded it a bit. It actually looks pretty good. Like, I, I am comfortable with that notch. Not worried at all. Boom. So as you guys could see in the uh, last clip when I was hammering this off, there's a little ledge just back here. And I had to get the spring plate off of the ledge. Now this little cover here, which is honestly pretty stiff, I gotta wiggle it off. Um, get to the torsion, uh, I guess you call it torsion bar, inside this torsion tube. And then all I literally have to do, pull the torsion bar out, click it back, two clicks, put it back in, and that should be a two inch drop. Uh, kind of thinking about maybe two and a half, even three, but... I think we'll start with two and see where that takes us. Now that I have the completely custom swing axle. Oh, it's not a swing axle. It's a spring plate. 
All right, guys. Um, sorry I wasn't filming too much. Holy shit, was this a little bastard to get off? So I uh, obviously, as you can tell, it was of all the corrosion it's seen from sitting. Um, anyways, after prying for fucking literally at least twenty minutes, got the uh, sp what is this spring plate, spring arm, spring plate loose. Um, you can look, see this bushing. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. But this bar right here, the, the orange bar you see in there, that's my torsion bar. So if I pull that out and I turn it two notches backwards, I'll lose about 5.5 centimeters of height. All right, guys, I have things like half thrown together. So oh, shit. So um, I was getting really excited, thinking like, whoa, look how low I'm going to be. Like almost bottoming out. Sick, right? Um... I forgot to put this on. So now I need to pull the swing arm back off, pull this out, slide this on, and then uh, just fucking redo everything. But anyways, here's my shock. There's the um, blowout for the shock. If I can find the, here's the stop. The stop is bigger than the fucking, bigger than the gap. This is gonna be a cool ass car. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the views, everybody. Leave a nice comment, so on. I gotta leave this for today because I'm off to work. But if you guys can see, here's the, uh, right here is the bottom of the frame. And look where the wheel is tucked. I might be able to actually, <laughs> I can't wait to lay frame in this car, honestly. This is gonna be badass. Well, next will be the front, but first, in the next episode, you'll see both sides of the back done, wheels on, on the ground, and hopefully, as long as I'm not working, we'll get the front done too, slam this whole thing, hell, take it for a drive, why not?